Mabuhai Philippines. <laughs> this is Isaac again. And as you know, the Miss Universe pageant is tonight. And so I am looking forward to seeing who the winner will be. I have enjoyed the prelims, the evening gown, the swimsuit, and the national costumes. All of those have been absolutely gorgeous. And I'm looking forward, again, I'm looking forward to tonight. As you probably know, I was hoping for a matchup between Antonio Porcelt and Michelle D. I don't think that that is going to happen tonight. I still like Antonio Porcelt. She's been a great advocate for the organization by getting there early, making the media rounds. So again, a, a great advocate. But as far as her performance, I just don't think it's going to be enough to propel her to the top five. I do believe, however, that she will be in the top ten. She, she has given great performances, just not strong enough to etch her into the top five. So I have enjoyed the friendship that Antonio Porcel and Michelle D have formed during, during the course of this pageant. And you can see them on uh, social media. They were doing some kind of funny stuff on social media and also, you know, taking questions from you know, the whoever was asking the questions. And so it has just been fun watching them form that bond. I think they have agreed to go see each other in their respective countries. And so that sister that, you know, being, being you know, part of that sisterhood there, I think they're going to be great friends in the future. It'll be fun to watch and see what happens with them in the future. But tonight they are competitors. And so it'll be interesting to see how, how all of that works out. I do believe that Michelle D um, would be in the top five. I believe that she'll be in the top three. And I do believe that she do have, she does have the chance to be Miss Universe 2023. So who else will be in that top five with Michelle D? Um, Miss India, Miss Africa, Miss Mexico, Miss Nicaragua. All of those are very strong competitors. And so I am really looking forward to, to seeing how all of this plays out tonight. I'm sure that there's going to be some surprises. I, and, and I'm anxious to see what those surprises will be. If you notice in the top five, I only have Miss, I have Miss Africa in the top five. Um, but Miss Angola and Miss Zimbabwe were in the top 10 for Voice for Change. And they've also given strong performances as well. I'm just not sure if it's going to be strong enough for the top five. So I'm anxious to see how right I am and how wrong I am. For me, that's part of it as well. It's still learning this process to give an ed educated guess. But it's all very subjective. What am I talking about it? The things that you really can't measure is looks. The one thing that you can measure is Q&A. And Michelle D, she kills it every single time. So she's very good at question and answer. So really, and her advocacy is strong as well. So those two things will definitely propel her into the top five and the top three and possibly winning the whole winning the whole uh, the whole crown. And like I said, it, I want to kind of see who's going to be in that top three and kind of go back and, and, and analyze it myself just to take a look. But I, even if Michelle D isn't the winner, it's all very subjective. And most of you already know that. And so uh, I'm not saying anything that you don't even that, that you don't know. But it'll be interesting to see. I think I, th I think she'll take it tonight. I really do. I think she'll take it tonight. Um, she'll definitely be be a uh, first runner up, but we're not even going to talk about that. So let's just wait until tonight. So hopefully you'll engage with me tonight. Send me some messages uh, as we watch it together. So, hey, you guys take care. Thank you for watching.